Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching The Born Supremacy. I am so excited to be diving back into The Born Identity franchise. If you guys haven't already seen my first reaction to the first movie, it is up on the channel. It actually did very well. Well, obviously, I decided to watch the Born Identity series after watching The Martian and stuff because we have seen a couple of Matt Damon movies here and I'm really enjoying his work. So we're going to be diving right into this one. Thank you guys so much for being here. My full reaction is over on Patreon. All my social media, they're linked down below. Same with my anime reaction channel and the gaming channel. Join our live streams over on Twitch as well. And the Discord server, I would highly appreciate that. Okay, let's get into The Born Supremacy. I don't think you guys understand how much I've been wanting to watch this movie. Everything is over. Everything is over. <laughs> oh my. Ooh, okay, so we're in India now. Exciting. Just a headache. So she's blonde now. You're burning up. Static. You know what? The haircut that he gave her kind of grew on me. So now she looks so different. <laughs> Anything new? No. It's just bits and pieces. I can hear Conklin's voice. And there's that photograph. But I just can't stay with it. But you're sure it's not just it a bad dream? It was a mission, and I was there. You should write it down. Now, two years, we're scribbling in that notebook. It it's hasn't always been bad, two and years. now it's just the same thing over and over again. But that's why we write it down, because sooner or later you remember something good. I do remember something good all the time. I adore these two so much. They've been through hell. The last movie was so chaotic. You have visual contact. Hub, this is Survey 1. Mobile 1 is in motion. Survey 3, that is good. Hub. Director Marshall from Langley. A lot of money, Pam. For a thief, a mole. If it does nothing more than narrow the list of suspects, it's a bargain at 10 times price. Hub, this is Survey 2. Escort is breaking off. Gentlemen, I have the seller on site and in play. Quite frankly, there's nothing much more to discuss. Hub, Mobile One and Seller have entered the office. Copy that. What am I saying? So where do you file it? Just read the talk around Jenge. Oh, they're good. Those are shots. Survey one, come in. Survey one, I need to know what happened. What are you seeing? Move until you see these shadows. I see nothing. Get some men in there. Get some men in there right now. Hold up, Kurt. Out of contact. I don't care if it's visual. Mobile one, can you? What? Mobile one. I'm sorry. Oh no, is this going to be the villain we're looking for? I don't want to do that. Ты получишь остальное, когда закончишь. Я весь мандуш. Твоя самолет улетает через час. It leaves in an hour. Oh, this is already scary. Because did you see how much damage one person did? Well, Jason did quite a lot of damage too. But anyways. <laughs> He's really trying to figure it out. I wonder how she's feeling about it. Uh, 
Oh, did he remember something? He's my friend. There's been a death in the family, and I wonder if you've seen him. Hey! Get in. What's wrong? We're blown. How? We pushed it. We got lazy. But we don't know this guy. He could be nice towards him. All right, that's twice now. I've seen the same guy. I saw him in town. He was at the telegraph office. Are you sure? How, how can you be sure? It's just wrong. The guy, the car he's driving, what he's wearing, it's just wrong. But Jason, let's think for a while. It could be anybody. This is real. That's him. That's him right there. Get your head down. Silver Hunter, get your head down. How far? 100 meters. How can you drive like this one? Oh, like, it's so small between everything. Here, take the wheel. You're gonna drive. Twitch! Just head to the bridge. Okay. Yeah, who are you? He's trying to live a calm and happy life. He doesn't look very happy. He's not our friend, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being delusional, okay? I want to think good of everybody. All right, you keep going to the shack. I'll meet you there in one hour. I'm gonna bail out on the other side of this bridge. It's the only way it can follow us. What if it's not who you think it it's is? It's them. It's Treadstone. Jason, don't do it. Look, Marie, I, don't I warned want you to Marie, do it. I told them what would happen if they didn't leave us alone. What? We don't have a choice. Yes, you do. Shot. If the window is open, just lift her through. And you just let her go. Nah, this is a bad movie. Nope. I'm not doing that. I've been so excited to get back into this, getting to like see them being in love and happy, and then this is what we get? Are you kidding? True. What the hell's Treadstone? All right, get me a flight. We're going to Langley. You're born. It's Jello. Do we arrange to know who we are? I should beat him in your motion. Yes, Jello, so she thought he had you. Born, puppy, a bitch, and impulsive. So it is his fingerprint they use. How are we supposed to go through with this? It's like, we haven't even started! And he's burning all the pictures? Keeping one. That is good, at least you're keeping something for yourself. Because what are they gonna do if they found out that you're in love with a lady, you know? Go kill her? They already did that. This is still a clandestine agency, no? I don't view this event as a failure. You call it a success? We have a lead. Fingerprint left by the assassin. He's one of us. What can you tell me about Treadstone? It's where the trail dead ends. If you want an answer, you're going to have to give me a level 5 SCI access. We have a lead, Marty. We've got your clearance, but you're on a very short leash. And you give a full report to the group. I want to know where you're going with this. It wasn't even him! Yes? Pamela Landy. Hey, Pam. What can I do for you? I was hoping you had some time for me. Time for what? I'm free right now, actually. That sounds ominous. <laughs> Let me check my schedule. 20 minutes? Operation Treadstone. Never heard of it. It's not gonna fly. With all due respect, Pam, I think you might have wandered a little past your pay grade. 
That's a warrant from Director Marshall granting me unrestricted access to all personnel materials associated with Treadstone. So, what are we looking at? I want to know about it. Know about it? It was a kill squad, black on black. We closed it down two years ago. Nobody wants to know about Treadstone. No. I don't think you guys closed it down after all. I want to know what happened. What happened? Jason Bourne happened. You got the files. Then let's cut the crap. Conklin had these guys wound so tight they were bound to snap. Bourne was his number one. The guy went for a job, screwed the up, never came back. Conklin couldn't fix it, couldn't find Bourne, couldn't adjust. It all went sideways. So you had Conklin killed? I mean, if we're cutting the crap. Ooh. I'm due to retire next year, but if you think I'm going to sit here and let you dangle me with this, you can go to hell and Marshall too. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, and Bourne, where is he now? Dead in the ditch. Drunk in a bar in Mogadishu. Who knows? And during the bye, both our case officer and the seller were killed. They were killed by Jason Bourne. It wasn't even him. He's being framed. Seven years ago, $20 million of CIA funds disappeared during a wire transfer through Moscow. In the investigation that followed, we were contacted by a Russian politician, Vladimir Nesky. Nesky claimed we had a leak and that we'd been ripped off by one of our own. The case had gone cold until a month ago when we found a source, another Russian in Berlin who claimed to have access to the Nesky murder files. We thought we had another bite at the apple. Turns out the assassin was one of our own, Jason Bourne. It wasn't even him! <gasps> He's just trying to chill in India with his girlfriend and now everyone is ruining everything. Oh. I think that Bourne and Conklin were in business together, that Bourne's still involved, and that whatever information I was trying to buy in Berlin was big enough to bring Bourne out from hiding to kill again. Look, you're not gonna believe this. Jason Bourne's passport just popped up on the grid in Naples. I don't know if some guy's name came up on the computer. Just some guy's name? What's the uh, nature of your visit to Naples? Look, I don't know what you did, and I don't know who you're working for, but I promise you this, you're gonna play ball one way or the other. Is Nevins? This is Tom Crowe, CIA. Operations officer calling from Langley, Virginia. Do you have a Jason Bourne in custody? Yes, I do. He's an agency priority target. <laughs> what? Oh, no. You were just pretending. He's been detained. Here's the number. He's being interrogated by a field officer out of the consulate. Not anymore. If you ever want to make it to five, you're going to listen to me real close. Jason Bourne is armed and extremely dangerous. Last week in Berlin, he assassinated two men, one a highly experienced field officer. I want you to secure that area. I want any evidence secured, and I want it done right now. Is that clear? I'm getting on a plane to Berlin in 45 minutes, which means you're going to call me back in 30. And when I ask you where we stand, I had better be impressed. She is strict. I like her. This is so weird. So you read a couple of files on Jason Bourne, that makes you an expert? This is my case, Ward. Enough. I want you both on that plane. We are all of us going to do what we are either too lazy or inept to do the last time around. I'm gonna find this son of a and take him down. I'm not having Jason Bourne destroy any more of this agency. Is that definitive enough for you? Last week in Berlin, he assassinated two men, one a highly experienced field officer. I want that area Berlin, he assassinated two men, one a high yeah, now he's also thinking about, like, when did I do this? This is not a real soldier. Not a real soldier. Are we clear on that? <laughs> More is coming back to him. Amsterdam! Ooh! Hello, Nikki. I had two responsibilities. One was to coordinate logistical operations. The other was to monitor the health of the agents. Depression, anger, compulsive behaviors. They had physical symptoms, headaches, sensitivity to light. Amnesia? Before born? No. You're coming with us. This poor girl. Probably started a completely new life and now she's back here. She'll never get a break. Well, now I understand why the trivia is that he's never really smiled in this movie. He lost his girl in the beginning of the movie. And since then been hunted down. Why Naples? Why now? Could be random. Zoom in. Maybe he's running on his own passport. What is he actually doing? He's making his first mistake. It's not a mistake. They don't make mistakes. They don't do random. 
There's always an objective, always a target. The objectives and targets always came from us. Who's giving them to him now? Scary version? He is. Uh-oh. I emptied it. It felt a little light. Put it down. Front. Sorry, old habits. Word in the ether was you'd lost your memory. You still should have moved. Conklin. He's dead. Shot dead in Paris. Dead the night you walked out. So who's running Treadstone now? Nobody. Mm. They shut it down. It's over. We're the last two. <coughs> what? Why are they still after me? I don't know. Ever heard the name Pamela Landy? What's going on in Berlin? I don't know. Why would I lie? True, why would he? I thought you were here to kill me. Nope, he only needs information. What'd you do? I'm sorry. Did you call it in? Get up. Come on. You have a car out front? The keys are in my coat pocket. Go out the back. I have another car. <gasps> oh! I need to stop trusting people in this movie because right now I thought we were being friends too! <laughs> we can't have nice things in this household or anywhere for that sake. So we said they were, were the only two left off Treadstone, but now it seems it's only you, Jason. Well, that was a waste. They didn't get any answers other than he doesn't know who Pamela is. They're the only ones left and then they had a fight. And now his house is blowing up too. Oh, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Pamela Landy, please. One moment, please. And Dr. Kenton Hazel. I wanted to call a guest, Pamela Landy. Just one second, please. Hello. I'm sorry, sir, the phone's busy right now. Would you like to Just call later, message? thank you. So you found her. Okay, let's take a look at the timeline. What's Bourne's objective? Now, I want to break this out in boxes. Naples outbound, check everything. Flights, trains, police reports. That's box one. Teddy, that's yours. Box number two, call up prior connections. I want to rerun all Bourne's treadstone material. Kim, box three. I want to identify his method of travel. Stay on the local cops. We need a vehicle, a parking ticket, something. Langley's offered to upload any satellite imaging we need, so let's find a target for them. Timeline it with what we know about Bourne's movements. Come on, guys, we ran this guy's life with total control for all those years. We should be a step ahead of him. You want to go home? Find Jason Bourne. Come on, Landy. This is Jason Bourne. Are you running treadstone? Treadstone was closed down two years ago. Well, you know that. Then who's planning the missions now? There are no missions. It's over. Then what do you want with me? Berlin. Have you forgotten what happened in Berlin? You killed two people, born. But you didn't do it! He's thinking about something else! He didn't do it! Oh, this is messing with my brain. There was a girl in Paris. She's part of the program. She used to handle logistics. Alexander Strasse. 30 minutes, under the world clock. Send her alone. Give her your phone. What if I can't find her? It's easy. She's standing right next to you. <laughs> oh, Jason. Okay, but he's good. We can't say anything else than that he's good, you know? Are we talking about protecting Nikki or killing Bourne? We're talking about killing Bourne. We're talking about the next dead body. It might be Nikki, it will be someone. You're born dead gives me nothing. Can I talk to you privately? You lost two men in Berlin and you wanted to mean something. But nothing Bourne gives you will bring your men back. Nothing in those files makes their sacrifice worthwhile. You have to let go. We're professionals. When an operation goes bad, we tie it off. If there's something you're not telling me, I want it now before I send that girl out there. Do you understand? You talk about this stuff like you're editing a book. What do you want to do? Put the snipers in place. If things go bad, we take them out. 
You got it. They have done this before. Where the people don't show up alone, and then Borna gets very angry. It's some sort of protest march. I'm sorry, this is as close as I can get. Survey 2, can you get in any closer, please? Kurt, make sure the south end is covered. Roger. Affirmative. Copy that. There's a tram coming towards you. Get on it. The tram is going to Alexander Plot Station. Is Alexander Plot. No, but she was supposed to go alone. I'm gonna ask you some simple questions. You're gonna answer me honestly, or I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. She's a task force chief. Is she running Treadstone? No, she's she's the deputy director. Why is she trying to kill me? Last week, an agency field officer tried to make a buy off of one of her ops. Last week, I was 4,000 miles away in India watching Marie die. They came for me and they killed her instead. When, when was I here in Berlin? What? What you for Treadstone. You know my file. I did a job here. When? No, you've never worked in Berlin. My first job. In Berlin. I did a job here. You know my file. Well, you've never worked Berlin before. My first job. No, your first assignment was Geneva. You... <laughs> oh, wait, I swear. I swear. I know no, I was here, know. Nikki. Poor Nikki. Don't do it. <laughs> oh. This was so... This is heavy. Okay, let's go public. Release his photo to the Berlin police. And check out his story about the girlfriend in India, too. You're in a big puddle of shit, Pamela, and you don't have the shoes for it. He didn't okay. sound like a man in control. His mind is broken. We broke it. And well, now... now terminate him? You've been pushing that agenda ever since we he got here. He also said tomorrow. you were running Treadstone. No. He didn't say he. No. That's not what he's saying at all. He didn't say that Pamela ran it. He asked. Oh my god! He doesn't know what's going on at all. <laughs> he just wants to answer to the questions because right now he thinks the Treadstone is framing him. He didn't say that Pamela was behind it. Oh. oh they are really on his back right now. It's a subline for the breaker above. And second, why put the charge all the way down here? If you're good enough to get in here and handle the gear, you're good enough to know. You don't need to. Bourne would know. What if somebody were trying to cover their tracks by blaming Conklin and Bourne? As he didn't. Thank you, sir. Well, you put a fool in me. I'm going to lose it. That is so insane. That was that is such a crazy twist. So Treadstone is behind this. We'll see you on the other side. <gasps> what? Nah, 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 Pamela. Pamela, you need to fix this. See, so you can't trust anyone in this movie. Actually, is room uh, 645 available? I've stayed there before. 644? It's fine. Thank you. I just need your passport and the signature right here, please. Have a nice night. Wow, you don't have to pay before going into the room? I'm so used to people usually pay before. Or first. This is a fancy hotel where you have a doorbell. Where? Brecker Hotel. On the Kudam. Okay, we're, we're there. Yeah, take the van. Brecker, how far? About five, six minutes. 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 You did it. Was his training? <gasps> you guys are insane. See you later. Fight up, fight up. Police, 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 police,
Good thing he was in another room. People are not understanding anything. <laughs> You're gonna get caught. When I said that he was about to get caught, I kind of forgot that he was Jason Bourne for a minute. <laughs> they missed him? Yeah, so far. But they found Nikki. She's back at the West and Bourne let her go. He let her go? Yeah. Why did Bourne come here? We don't know yet. Landy's upstairs in one of the rooms. She said she'd call you when she's done. Okay. I think I'll uh, take a cab back to the hotel. So now I understand why Nikki said that he didn't have a job there. Because it wasn't really a job, it was his training. Why would he come in here? What are you thinking? I recognize this room from a photo. There was a chalk outline right here, around the body of Vladimir Nesky. This is where his wife killed him? Do you still think his wife killed him? Call that, but tell him to wait for me in his hotel. I'm coming to see him. Unless Jason is there to see him first. Da, it's me. They're on Dineski. It's another clean phone. They can't prove anything. Kill Bourne and you kill this investigation. I'm afraid, War. The time has come for You bought those oil leases with 20 million and stolen CIA seed money. You owe me. I gave you your cut. We both got rich. I don't owe you anything. The plan can still be salvaged. Just get Bourne. Do you hear me? He's still out there. Now get him. Get Jason. Yeah, corruption is not that much fun anymore, is it? Now you need to figure this out yourself. <gasps> oh my god, I am 200 IQ. I told you. You had to cry for help, huh? Not much. You killed her. It was a mistake. It was supposed to be you. There were files linking me to the Nesky murder. Files disappeared and they suspected you. They'd be chasing a ghost for 10 years. You killed Marie. The minute you climbed into a car, the minute you entered her life, she was dead. I told you people to leave us alone. I fell off the grid. I was halfway around the world. There's no place it won't catch up. It's how every story ends. It's what you are, Jason. A killer. You always will be. She wouldn't want me to. Okay, but she's not here. He gave him the gun. I'm a patriot. I served my country. Danny Zorn, what was he? Unlucky. Collateral damage. I'm not sorry. <laughs> oh, now they locked eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> How is this guy still alive? Okay. He didn't even do it. He's gonna tell you something. I speak English. Oh. You're older. <laughs> She's like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> that mean a lot to you? It's nothing. Just a picture. I would want to know that my that my mother didn't kill my father. That she didn't kill herself. I killed him. Your father was supposed to be alone. But then your mother 
came out of nowhere. It changes things, that knowledge. When what you love gets taken from you, you want to know the truth. Now what? I'm sorry. I don't think that she feels the closure. I felt like that was more for his own sake than for hers. He needed to feel better about what he did, I feel like. And now it's an open book again, and she's going to wonder why, when, where, you know? And suddenly she's the next villain. Blood? What do you want? I wanted to thank you for the tape. I guess I owe you an apology. Is that official? No, off the record. You know how it is. Wait, David Webb. That's your real name. Jason Bourne is not even a Jason. Why don't you come in and we'll talk about it? Get some rest, Pam. You look tired. He did it again. Quite honestly, I feel like I like this one better than the first one. That is not often that I feel that way. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. Okay guys, this was the Born Supremacy. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm Norwegian and Dominican, of course I don't speak English. But anyways, we finally watched the sequel to the Born Identity that we watched last month, I believe. Maybe longer than that, two months ago. Getting to see the death of Marie in this movie was something that I really did not expect. We also spent majority of the first movie trying to get to know who Jason Bourne is because of his incident on the boat, getting shot and then causing him amnesia. Now we are not sure that Jason Bourne is Jason Bourne because now we got to know that his name is something else. He's not even a Jason. He's not even a Bourne. That's it guys for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I actually like this one much better than the first one. Leave a comment down below saying which of the Bourne movies that you enjoyed the most. I would highly, highly appreciate that and I would very much want to know. My full reaction is on Patreon, on my social media, link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video very soon. Bye everyone.